Welcome back to an episode of We Are Going to Tell You How to Get to Moquin Palace. It's right up there, this one. See that? This right there is Moquin Palace. The Moquin Palace is very easy to get to if you <laughs> have the teleport already available. But uh, how do you get there at the beginning of the game? There are two different ways of doing so. Uh, one of them is to finish Vare's quest. And uh, Vare can be found at the first step right here. It's the, f well, kind of first gray side that you see. And Vare is standing over here and talks about all of the side that you're maidenless and so on and so forth. And uh, he, well, gives you the token after you have defeated Godric the Grafted, uh, this one right here. Uh, you usually end up with a grey side at the secluded cells and uh, defeat this fella multiple times in quick succession. So this is usually where the boss gate is and uh, where the fire is going to be spewed. And once you have a, a great rune, it doesn't need to be Godric's, but Godric is very close by. That's why I would advise for this one. And it's actually very easy to defeat. So uh, you defeat Godric, you get the great rune, and then you go to the round table hold and talk to Enya. Enya is the one that changes runes into uh, into weapons and other stuff. So this one right here. She should actually look a little bit more lively <laughs> uh, if you are at the beginning of the game, but whatever. Uh, and once you did that, then Vare can be found at the Rose Church. This one right here. Sadly, it doesn't have any uh, gray sites nearby. So let's go there real quick. So, and charge on forward to the west. And the important bit that you need to, well, know about this church is that it is about invasion. It's about PvP. And his mission is all about invading three times. It doesn't need to be successful. It just needs to be an invasion three times in a row. So, Vare can be found right here. And you talk to him, get a bloody finger. Uh, now we go into the actual inventory thingies. Uh, where's this thing? There we go. So these are your invasion fingers. Uh, there are two different ones. One of them from the Volcano Manor. Doesn't matter. This is not the one that you need. This one right here. Uh, this is what you are given at the end of the mission. And beforehand, you're given those uh, usable red fingers uh, that can be used up. Anyway, you just use them three times in a row. And uh, it doesn't need to be um, a win against the enemy. It just needs to be a, a PvP match, basically. You need to try this three times in a row. And then you are given another item. Uh, there we go. So, it's uh, slightly below the prattling pates and all of the other stuff. So, this Pure Blood Knight's Medal is a pretty needy one. Uh, and it gives you an audience with Moog. So, you can use it and use it and go to the audience grounds yes and this is how you get there the first time around you just use the audience thing and you're getting teleported right here and Mokwin's palace which by sheer coincidence is not here this is where you end up if you normally go in there but you can just sidestep the whole thing end up at the small palace and then you can just go all the way around all the way to the Mokwin palace and then just grind yourself some runes if you wanted to. It's very neat, uh, very easy to do. And of course, put down your summon sign. Well, not your summon sign. <laughs> Call for help because there are others that also want to grind Mogwin. And you can do this fairly easily. So now you know how to get there with the first method. And then there's also a second method. And the second method involves the Dectus uh, elevator. So this one right here. So. You go all the way further north, 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 through here, and uh, then you're somewhere in here, in the Grand Lift of Roll. That is an interesting lift, because it actually has two different uses. One of them uh, goes to the Fire Giant, and the second one goes to the Halic Tree. And you want to go to the Halic Tree, and in order to do that... You need to go in here. See that? There is Hoist Medallion. And if you want to switch the actions right here, there's Hoist Secret Medallion. Medallion, Secret Medallion. Medallion, Secret Medallion. What you want to do is Hoist the Secret Medallion. Then, um, of course, you need the parts for this first. <laughs> Obviously. 
and uh, what are those things here? The Halic Tree Secret Medallion left and Halic Tree Secret Medallion right. These two are needed in order to activate the rolled lift. So once you have uh, those two, you can uh, access uh, this area right here. If you come out of the hidden path to the Harley Tree in here, there, everything is full of fog. You can't see anything. So just go on north, all the way to the north, until you reach the river right here. And from that point on, there's also a gray side right there. And from that point on, you just go west, all the way west. And the interesting part about this is that you basically know when the entrance to the Moguin uh, Palace actually arrives. So, see that? You already can't see in that much anymore. And it's even more possible to see anything if you start in here. So don't get confused. Just go on north to, until you hit the river. And then you go on west. And uh, the further you go on west, the more reddish stuff appears all of a sudden. You see this ruin down here that tells you that you're on the right spot. And let's just ignore those fellas. Hopefully we don't have that many runes to lose. I still don't know where those goats are coming from. That's kind of weird. Anyway, see this stuff? This is kind of a hint that tells you that you are getting closer to the Mogwin Dynasty place. So... And we are getting really close. We just go on forwards to the west. Further, 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 further. Until we come to the cliff. And at that cliff, we can do something very interesting. And we can just fall down. <laughs> uh, also, do not fight the bears. Bears are annoying. Let's just go past them. So, where was this spot? Uh, ooh ha. Right. There. That is it. Uh, you drop down over here. You drop down over there. Did I mess this up? I think I met. No, I did. There we go. And this is the red portal. And if you use this, then you're also getting teleported into the Mogwin thingy. Let's just uh, go there real quick. Bada beam, bada beam, bada ba -hoo. Very simple, very easy to know that you're uh, somewhere in the <laughs> bloodish part. And see, everything is dark, so get yourself the lantern so you can finally see things. And you end up somewhere in here in a cave, and at the end of the cave, you are basically met with uh, whatever bloody stuff is there. See that Mogwin Palace? Very easy. Let's just go this way, and then you end up at the gray side down there. It's uh, this one here. And then you can go and experience the full beauty of the Mogwin Palace. Very neat. Also, you can use this thing right here. Once you have defeated Mogwin, that thing is amazing. I love that. Anyway, I hope that was helpful enough. Until next time then, like and subscribe as usual and uh, ta-ta. Hey.